Who is it? All right, I'm coming. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't think you were going to get here so soon. Um, uh, dum. All right, let's try that again. Sorry for the poor introduction. It's your boy, Anatar, and welcome to the crib. Alright, um, I apologize for that intro, but on a serious note, I want to start this video out by saying that I will not be including how to do precision building, nor am I really going to go in depth into how to do crafting, but this video will be in four segments. As for the first part, I will be doing a beginner refresher type video. Then I will be doing base types such as water bases and sky bases. Then on to the next part I'll be showing you item clipping with Ricky. Then lastly I'm going to show you how to make your base unrateable. And alright that's done with the intro now on to the first part. Alright, so if you're watching this part of the video, that means maybe you're new to the game, or maybe you would like a little bit of a refresher. Um, so what I'm going to start off doing is teaching you how to make a very basic maple house. The reason for maple is because you can collect all the materials you'll need from these trees here. They're very abundant, very common to find. But as for cutting them down, you're going to need these very basic tools such as an axe, saws, chainsaws. Uh, you'll find these mostly in farms, you can find these also in towns, but um, once you have your materials, such as these logs and sticks, you go to the crafting page, and you see this house here, you want to click on structures, and if you look through here, this is about everything you need to build a house. What's important is pillars, floors, and roofs, doorways, walls, anything that you really think of, and let's get on to it. Take all these, and the first thing you want to put down is your flooring, except um, for the first floor you want to put down, you want to find a good flat land such as this, because as you can see over here, it can still be placed, but you see that clipping right there? You don't really want that for your first floor. So we're going to come over here and go ahead and put these on down. So I'm going to be making a really simple 2x2 two two design. But one thing I would like to say is, if you look at my cursor right here, notice it's red and I can't place it down. Um, so how you fix that is, you're going to want to look at the floor, and then you can click and place it down. Alright, now for the walls. But before we can put down our walls, as you can see here, you can't exactly put it down. That's because we're missing a pillar. So let's grab those real quick. Okay, so as you can see, this, like the way you can build in this game, kind of looks like a grid, since it's all squarey like that. Let me just put these on down, these just fit right through the corner. I'm going to leave this front space open right here for the door, and apparently I missed a pillar that didn't place. Okay, so I'm going to leave this front part open so I can place a doorway, so I'm just going to go ahead and place all these down. Alright, now we can grab our doorway. And a door. And everything just kind of places right in place. Slap that bad boy right on in there. And there we go. Now all we need is a window. Come over here. And drop that right down. So, as you can see, you can still jump through it because we need to put something there. So, you have many options such as glass and shutters. 
but I mainly like shutters unless you can actually get like a one-way window but for now we're just gonna use a shutter all right now for the interior just gonna grab some stairs okay so the thing about stairs in this game is you have to aim your cursor like upwards if you can see that it doesn't place correctly if you aim down here so and how you rotate objects in this game is you just simply right click and it just spins like that so let's place this down but what if you don't want stairs maybe you want a ladder you're going to need a hole for that it's simply just called hole put that down and on for the ladder. Ladders are really weird. It, they're kind of hard to place down. You have to get right behind where you want it to face. And there we go. Now we just need a good little hatch. And put that right on down. There we go. Now for the roof. Ah, these are crates. So let's go in the crates first. Um, usually with um, your crates, you want to spread them out. So if you do get raided, they're actually harder to get into. But for now, I'm just going to actually spread them out. Okay, let's find those roofs. There you go. Put this down. Actually, I'm going to show you something real quick. To... Um, if you don't have all four pillars, you see here, you can actually place the roof down. So you all, always need all four. I'm going to place this back down. And finish this off. And there we go. Now all we really need is one more thing. Uh, with all of this, um, you should be able to craft a doll with just level one crafting. But some more stuff in the game gets a little bit more advanced build so you have to come over here to the skill menu and go to this third little support heart right here and you want to go over here to crafting and you want to max this out it doesn't actually take too much experience to craft it I mean <laughs> to max it out but once you get it you can make something like this called a claim flag and I just went ahead and showed you the recipe and everything that you need for it cloth wire glue and a blowtorch and let's take that and the reason you want this is because enemy players can actually build around your base unless you have one of these down so if you see that white line way over there that's our boundary and no one else except you or your group members can build on this boundary so once it's destroyed they can go in your base they can blow it up and then they can build anywhere they like but if you have this sound right here they cannot build around your base can't get on top of it they have a harder time accessing your stuff okay and there you have it your beginner base i know this is a very easy setup but for here on it's going to get a little bit more advanced for the next part i'm going to go into types of bases Alrighty, so sky bases um I don't, I'm not going to get really too far into what's the perfect setup for a sky base. For this, I'm really just wanting to get to how it's actually made. But um, that being said, uh, these bases are honestly probably the strongest build you can do in the game. But the only problem is that they require a bed and a server that you can um, use a TP command, that being slash home. But, and you're going to need an oxygenator, or you can be able to use a diving tank and a snorkel. Because once you get too high in the sky, you start losing oxygen. But, um, as for how it's built, alright, you're going to want to start out with something like this. Four pillars, floor, and a stairs. Then you just kind of want to keep on adding to it. Just like this. And once you're getting ready to put down the stairs, the only problem is that if you don't forget to um, get 
like salvage the bottom floor here. It's gonna be really hard to place. See, it's so much easier to place now, just instantly popping up. Uh, just stand right here on the bottom part of the stairs, aim up, and drop it down. Then once we have this, we just go through and salvage all the bottom stuff here. And there we go. Then you just kind of keep on going. I'm going to do this one more time. Three and four. Grab the stairs. Drop that down. And there we go. Now, once you get to your desired height, what you're going to want to do is grab a roof and just place it down. Then you can go ahead and salvage anything around here and you can just build your base from there. But like I said earlier, very important, make sure you have a bedroll on you or you're not going to be able to get back up to it. Um, actually one time I straight up forgot to claim here, see claim, I straight up forgot to climb, claim, I went straight down, I died, couldn't get back up to it, total mess. So make sure you guys get a bedroll or you're just not honestly going to have a good time. But uh, that's all you really need to know about sky bases. Now I'm going to uh, cover water bases. Okay, doke. So um, water bases, uh, water bases are honestly way easier to build than uh, sky bases. But what you're going to need straight off the bat is an oxygenator and a generator. So when you find a good space underwater that's really deep, kind of hard to find. But um. One of the things you want to do right beforehand, I almost forgot, but uh, you want to go to your skills, go up here to diving, see that right there? Um, if you can, just go ahead and max it out. If you can't, it's alright. You're probably going to need a snorkel if you can't. So um, let's just go here, place this down, go ahead and put our oxygenator down. Out of bounds, cool. this right here gas it up Is it running all right sweet but um here other than that these bases are um like i said very hard to find but you want to keep these really compact so the smaller the base the honest the god better it is And uh, one quick tip, just thought about it. Um, to see better underwater, you want to go under your graphics here and go down to uh, water quality and just go ahead, max that out. And let me just hurry up and continue making this. It's not really much to water bases, to be honest with you, but they're honestly my probably my favorite type of base, to be honest. Go ahead, finish all this up. Now, so when I'm done with this, I'm going to go over to the shoreline and I'm going to show you guys how hard it is to actually see these bases. Alright. Okay. So, I mean, what I would usually do... Um, I like to see if I can put like a little marker out here. Honestly, anything will work. But I think the less uh, inconspicuous would be just honestly like a big metal plate or something. Just go ahead, grab it, and just uh, put it down and that'll mark where your base is. Because if you can go on the map and like figure out where like the location is about at, you place this here right at the shore and you just go right out towards it. And you'll find it if you can't really see it. Um, let me just go ahead and do slash day just to show you that it's honestly extremely hard to see. Even with maxed out ultra qualities, you honest, actually you can't see it. So, um, water bases are extremely hard to see and you honestly have to be looking for them to even see it. So, um, that's all I really have to say about water bases other than... These bases are honestly better for solo players than they are for group play. Group play, I would honestly suggest the sky base way more than the water base. Just so you can actually have a bigger base to work off of. 
But um, other than that, that's really all I have to say for types of bases. Okay guys, for this part of the video, I'm going to show you how clipping items can be used for defense and hiding items. Here is my boy Ricky here to help me out with it. Hello guys, thanks for having me here. I'm glad to help out. Alrighty, for the first thing I'm going to show you is how it's done. So for this, we're going to start out with just using lockers. And what you want to do, you want to have another person with you. And you guys want to place the item the exact same time. And Ricky, just tell me when you're ready. Okay, I'll count down. Three, two, one. Okay, that bugged up. Let's try that one more time. This happens a lot, guys. Don't even worry about it. Just keep going at it. You'll get it. And there we go. See that? And both lockers are usable. Okay, now, for an example of how this can be useful, I'm, I'll be using a claim flag and a wall. Just do the same procedure as last time. And Ricky, are you ready? Yep. Okay, countdown. Three, two, one. Try it out one more time. <laughs> oh, that's all right. All right, here, ready? Three, yep. two, one. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Okay. Hey, I'll start when you start your animation. There we go. See how the flag is extremely hard to see and it's just almost completely encased in the wall? You can actually do it a little bit better than this, but for the main part, it's very easy to make sure raiders can't build around on your property and is extremely hidden. Now for something I personally like to do to hide important weapons is by using weapon racks and wardrobes. First, I put the weapon rack down, then I grab a wardrobe, just like this, and I just pop it right here in front of it. And there you go. You can barely see it. If you want to, you can go ahead, stuff your glue in here. You can still access it too. Oh yes. Um, now, you can do clipping with all sorts of objects. You need to just get real creative. But that's all, that's all I really have to say about clipping. And also, thank you Ricky for helping out with this. No problem, and don't forget to check out my unturned videos. Now, Goodbye. next part of the video, I'll teach you how to really amp up your defenses and make your base truly unraidable. Alrighty, so base defense. Uh, base defense should be one of the most important things you should be thinking about when you're starting the layout of your base. But um, I'm going to start this off by showing traps, which I think these are incredibly unutilized. But um... Obviously, the turret being the uh, best one, you see these all the time. But um, these over here, just honestly never see them. And I generally think they're extremely useful. I'm going to start off by showing how efficient caltrops are at disabling vehicles. Because um, a caltrop, when you walk over it, only does 20 points of damage here. But um, for vehicles, they actually pop tires, which I'm going to show you this right here. As you can see right here, this bridge right here is the only way you can actually get vehicles through here. You just want to put a whole lot down. And the reason these things are really good, because you see that right there? They just completely vanish and that you have to get close enough to them for them to actually render in. So if you're in a vehicle and you're riding down the road and you just go in down here and you just stack them up in a line, you just drive straight over it, not even notice, and pop, there goes your wheels. But, um... As for landmines, landmines are really great too, but they don't actually outright kill anyone. They only do 80 points of damage, as I'm about to show you. Just walk right over it. There we go, it does about 80 points of damage. And it uh, almost disables your attacker and makes them waste some of their medical supplies. And you could just go ahead and you see these trees around your base, just go ahead and put some down just around the trees because if a, cause they're just going to use that as a point to make sure they lose light of sight from you and they'll go around step on one and they'll be down 
But, um, as for barbed wire fences, um, these can be used to really great extents because you can actually shoot through these. Um, because if you want to, you can just go ahead and put a turret right behind it, and they actually have to go up and they have to destroy this before getting to their base. Because if you just make a big, um, round area just straight around your base, then you can just go ahead, put a door frame down, put some double doors on there, and, uh, they're gonna have an extremely hard time to get through that. But, um, another thing that I'm gonna show you here, which is probably the most important part of this part, is honeycombing. Honeycombing in this game is disgustingly strong, and just because it takes so much material just to get through this. Like, these, um, uh, missiles right here, I'm gonna actually show you, like, how many it's gonna take to get through here in just a minute. But, um, my favorite thing to do while actually building on the ground is, uh, making one of these. And, uh, all this is is just a hole and a ladder, and this is just gonna be surrounded by a bunch of metal plates. Which, um, just go ahead, put the ladder down, put the hole down, and just start stacking plates all the way around them. And one tricky thing that I like to do, I like to go ahead and lower the HP of the ladder, because I don't like building metal ladders, because I think they're just a complete waste of supplies in general, because once they got the ladder down, they can't really continue raiding if you have a flame flag up higher and hidden. But uh, another thing that I find really useless in this game are pillars. Metal pillars are not even really worth to build. You can just go ahead and use your supplies elsewhere. And just wall once you actually kill them. See that? Still can't get through it. Completely useless. But um, here, I'm actually going to show you and go ahead and show you how many missiles it actually takes to get through one of these honeycombs. Which, I'll be using a tank cannon for this, you cannot actually find these in the vanilla game. I can just spawn this in because I'm an admin, but it does use the exact same amount of damage as a regular tank cannon. So, I have loaded myself up with 8 missiles here, and I'm just going to go ahead and free fire at it. Um, in my opinion, I think 8 missiles would be enough just for the Extremely easy to find. You just pick up a bunch of items, hammers, saws, guns, common guns, just anything. Give you a whole lot of scrap metal. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off these eight missiles. Get through it. Through eight missiles. Yep, see, used eight tank cannon missiles, and I didn't even get halfway through. And that's how strong honeycombing can actually be in this game. Alrighty, well, as for windows, windows are going to be key points that raiders are going to be looking for um, when they're going to raid your base, just because of how weak they are compared to walls. Um, I'm going to give you here a couple options. Um, this one over here is way less than the others. I would actually suggest not doing this at all and just go ahead and just put a shutter down. But um, as for these two over here, um, if you see these, these are just metal pipes right here, just placed right here in between. So once a raider does uh, break through this glass here, they won't actually be able to get through into your base and it just adds another layer of defense. But as for this right here, this is just a simple wooden barricade. Um, with this, this is used for actually shooting back at the attacker, so you can open the window up and it gives you a really good cover and it gives you a chance to fight back. But um, as for these, these are called fortifications. I really wouldn't use these in most scenarios. I would, um, honestly, if I was going to be using these, I would go to like one of these pre-built windows over here is because they actually work over here too. And I could just place them down and use them in a pinch, but honestly, I don't even use them at all. Okay, and as for actually laying out your base and making it completely unraidable, um, I like this design a whole lot. 
Um, how I started it off with triangular metal plates is I just kept going around and around. And um, these thick parts right here, these are going to be the best honeycombs you could probably do. So um, there's multiple ways to go about it. With uh, If you don't have a lot of resources at hand, you can just go ahead and place walls down right like this and just keep on going backwards. But um, if you have a good supply of resources, just go ahead make some large metal plates and just put them down like that, like I showed you over there. And they're just going to have an incredibly hard time to get through this, and it's just going to be insane. But um, also for doorways, doorways are also parts that raiders are going to be looking to get through. And actually, you can't put a whole lot of defenses here just because it, you have to get through it yourself. So I would just go ahead and just triple stack it, honestly, just as many times as possible. Because um, as much as you can put down, that is going to be your defense. The more you can put down, the harder it is for them to get through. And that's honestly as simple as it really gets for base defense. Alrighty, well thank you for watching till the end of the video. If you learned something, go ahead, drop a like, subscribe, hit that ring bell, and I'll see you guys next time.